In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this lo-fi sound in Vital. What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. Going in a little bit different direction today, I wanted to take it into a more chill direction with the sound design this time. Lo-fi is a super popular genre. Lots of people like to listen to it when they're working or studying. Chances are if you clicked on this video, you know what lo-fi is. If you find anything in this video helpful, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, if you're having trouble finishing music, grab my finishing music checklist in the description of this video. Completely revamped and it's helped a lot of producers. I think over 500 have downloaded them so far. So go check that out. All right, let's get into the sound. So here we are in Vital. We have the initial preset. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a sine wave. We'll hit solo on the chords here so you can hear what, what it sounds like. Go with this sine wave. And that's really the fundamental basis of this sound, but we're gonna take it a few steps further. I'm gonna bring the sustain down and the decay up and the release up. Now it's gonna sound a little bit more plucky. So I added another sine wave here, and I'm gonna bring this one down an octave. So it feels a little bit more rich. And then we're going to add something for like a little bit of a top layer here, and I'm gonna go with this BS2 acid. These are all from the serum wave table, so if you have serum, these are available in Serum. If you don't have Serum, you could just find a similar looking wavetable here. The main character is gonna be in the processing. Then I'm gonna to go to Low Pass here and I'm going to automate this. We're gonna to go to LFO2, switch this to envelope mode and put this on the Low Pass. We're not gonna have it go crazy, just about right there, I think. I like that. We're gonna send that to filter one. And then we're gonna turn on filter one. We're gonna bring the resonance down and we are going to put LFO2 also on this filter. We're gonna reduce the range a little bit. I just wanna get a little bit of those harmonics there. I think that's a good tone for us. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is Pretty cool. We're gonna take a LFO here, and I'm gonna turn it to, um, we're gonna turn it to sync. So this means it's just off the, it's off the grid. It won't restart every time we play a new note. And then I'm gonna switch it from tempo to seconds. And I'm going to put this on the phase of oscillators one and two. And I'm gonna set both to bipolar. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create this pitch drift effect. Check this out. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our noise oscillator. This is pretty cool. And then we're gonna grab a vinyl crackle sample. And I'm gonna turn this off here and I'm just gonna turn this on. This is gonna be randomly cycling through that sample as we play. And I'm gonna send this direct out to the effects and I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. So now let's go over to our effects. And what we're now it's really gonna take shape here. We're gonna turn on our effects, we're gonna low cut this, and we are going to high cut it. And yeah, I'm gonna bring oscillator three down an octave there. And if you wanna bring uh, an oscillator down an octave with just one click and drag, just hold shift and click and drag on the pitch here and it jumps octaves for you. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add some distortion and at this time we're going to be using downsampling distortion. You can hear what it does here. Sounds pretty good. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a little bit of reverb here at the end as well. I'm gonna cut out the lows, cut off the highs. And I'm gonna actually send this noise oscillator direct out. There we go. Now, when we play this in context with the rest of the loop, Thank you. 
And let's say we wanted to make those notes last a little longer, we can always bump up the decay. And that's how you make a lo-fi synth in Vital. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next week.